everybody. We just for the ones that are on the phone, uh, we have Jerome recording and we have David uh, reporting here. But other than that, uh, it's just uh, Stephen, Lindy, uh, not Lindy, <laughs> uh, Darcy, Bill, Alicia who's walking back, and myself. So. Okay. Hey, Jerome. So we're starting at 12, 12. And we, uh, we're gonna start right in discussion agenda. Uh, 2.1, need for advice regarding next steps on budget and teacher contracts. So I will let you, Ruben or Bill, lead on this. Ruben, do you wanna start off or you want me to do it? Sure, I can start off really quickly. So uh, obviously we all know what happened on uh, Tuesday night. Um, we now find ourselves in a, sort of an unknown spot. Um, and I was approached by Will from Worcester, and I know that Bill was approached by a couple other folks wondering about sharing uh, some legal counsel about how to move forward. So. We don't have a budget, um, or, sorry, we haven't warned a budget, and we need to decide, you know, there's some questions around um, teacher contracts and agreements, and so we, uh, for this meeting, we don't need to discuss any of that, but what we do need to do is select a legal counsel who we can um, use, who works on our behalf um, to, um, to give us legal uh, opinions about how we move forward, or more importantly, what our options are around moving forward. And Bill, if you want to expand on that, that would be. Yeah, one of the things to kind of give you uh, ideas, I sent out, uh, I've created a possible timeline for two different scenarios here. Um, and I emailed it to Ruben and Lindy, you might want to look at it. I have it right in front of yep. me. Okay. I have it. Jerome, I don't know if you need a copy. I'd be glad to give you one. Um, of because of the way the meeting was adjourned, that in the tightest timeline, it could take anywhere from 90 to 120 days to get to a budget vote for a merged budget. If it was a local school district budget, and I have an error on this piece of paper because I counted something on one column, I didn't count in the other. On local school district budget, you would need 30 days to warn it and then run the budget vote, where the error is at the bottom where I say a total of 60 to 70 days on that side, I, I included the 60, the 30 day challenge period there is for any election. I didn't on the other, on the merge side, so I just cross that off and say it's a total of 30 to 40 days. Um, the critical date here is that in the negotiated agreements you have with the Teachers Association and the ESP, that employees need to be notified by April 15th as to whether we're going to offer them a contract or if there will be a reduction in force of their position. You as a board will need to make that decision to direct me which way you need to go and I believe that you should have legal counsel to advise you on how you want to go and what the possible ramifications are not only of negotiations and negotiated contracts, you need to know someone that knows about negotiated agreements, but someone that also knows about Act 46 and the fiduciary responsibilities that you have as a board. I have four possible attorneys that you could talk to. You could pick someone else off that, that's not on that list. Um, but I would like you to direct me into which attorney you would like to advise you. So Are it, any it, of them currently um, being used by the SU? The four that I brought, we've used all four. Okay. One is currently being used by the Supervisory Union Board. That was agreed upon by the Articles of Agreement Committee. That would be Chris Leopold. Okay. So uh, you, and, you and I talked about this a long time ago, about if we could have some <coughs> counsel. Yeah. You, because the, the guys involved in the suit had had a counsel. Could we just use Colin? 
uh, or or Leopold, Chris Leopold. That's your you choice as a board. Don't, don't, don't. No, no, I, I'm, I'm just I'm just saying because we he they were present of yeah. what happened and yeah. they know the history. Uh, the, or is there something that we need to wait in more no. lawyers? No. I, I'm just asking no, a question I'm, of I'm clarity just, too. I, yeah, I'm I'm looking. I am at the point with. Uh, that I would like boards to direct me on to who they choose as legal counsel. That's what I'm asking you for. I am not going to select legal counsel for boards anymore. So are there any other boards that have selected legal counsel? You are the first to have this discussion. Okay. U32 has a warned meeting for next Monday night at 6 p.m. to have this discussion. Middlesex and um, Doty are trying to come to an agreement by the end of today of when to warn a meeting to have this discussion. As Ruben said, Will Baker from Doty reached out to board chairs to say, hey, should we share this together or not? And that was the question Will had. Um, you could talk about that, you know, what you wanna do. And, you know, I, but I'm asking each board individually, where you guys stand, what you wanna do, what direction, what supports do you need, and getting you the supports. And if we said we wanted to share and say one of the other schools didn't like our choice and one of them did we'd be able to share with just that one i, I think that... any of those possibilities okay. but you, you right. i would i would you decide how you want to have that discussion in the past in washington central the way we've worked is that's always just been a discussion at the chair level you may or may not feel comfortable with that happening with the current environment which we're in so would it be easier to say you know th this is our top that you know since we're not all having the meeting at the same time so that we can all discuss? Could we say, you know, I, I, Chris Lippel is our first choice, this is our second, and this is our third, but our priority is to share it across and then take our chances? I, I would say not? we hire a legal so. counsel and say, this is who we've hired, we were first, we're more than comfortable sharing yeah. this legal counsel with anyone else I that agree. would like to join in. Okay. Because if we don't do that today, that means we need to convene another special meeting right. after the other boards have met. No, oh, I see. Right? But well, I was thinking I, that we I, were comfortable I, I, with because those Because this is so timely matter. in my mind, okay. yep. we select legal counsel tonight right. and we let all the other board chairs and boards know this is who we've selected. We selected one because we were first. We didn't want to have to wait. We're more than comfortable uh, coming to some kind of agreement to share counsel with anybody that's interested. I have one reservation that I yeah. just want to draw out, which is that um, <laughs> there are boards that are working on this lawsuit, and I'm concerned that there will be overlap in the legal questions. Um, I and I'm not that sure concern. how inextricably linked those things are. So I'm not 100% comfortable with sharing legal counsel given the tone and timbre of where we are at this point. Um, I would be 100% comfortable with sharing legal counsel with the U32 board, for example, who is not a party to the lawsuit. Because we aren't are the only elementary school not party to the lawsuit, I kind of, in the back of my mind, was a little concerned about that as well. For, for clarity, are frankly, we the... If I was on the lawsuit side, I would feel the same okay. way. Okay. For clarity, are we the only elementary school not on the... U32, to, to, uh, yeah, but elementary, yes, we're the only one. So, yeah. so uh, Dodie did decide to join it? Yeah. Okay. No. Late, yeah. That's okay. So that said, I think the legal questions that we're going to be encountering, and Adrian uh, contacted Bill as well, I think the legal questions that we're going to be considering are quite similar to what U32 is going to be looking at. Um, so I, I am comfortable with sharing legal counsel with U32. Well, Ruben, I, more Ruben, I would say the legal questions are the same for all the schools, yeah. whether you want to merge or not. Yeah, yeah I, I don't feel as strong. I understand strong. that. My worry, well, and it may be overblown, but my worry is that while the legal questions are similar, the end 
goals may not be. Well, ultimately, we all have the same goals. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't feel the same way. I think if we're going to lead, we we have to lead in some way, in, including others. We we get the chance to pick whoever we want since we're going first. But we I, we have the same educational outcomes. We have the same responsibilities, like Stephen was just saying. So I, I don't see what I'd be perfectly comfortable sharing, especially knowing that if each school has a different lawyer, then it's like well. So and so is saying this, and so and so is saying that, and you know, going back to our meeting on Monday, it's like this lawyer has this opinion, this lawyer has that opinion. It's just like, ultimately, we all want what is best for us as a whole. This is, I don't know, that's just me. I wouldn't be comfortable sharing with. Just I, I agree in principle, but in practice, unfortunately, other towns have, are are not demonstrating that very well. So I. I can be moved on this. I'm just, I'm. Uh, uh, but they already have another have a lawyer. Really jaded view at this point. They, they already well, if have. The legal another counsel lawyer. is strictly about what it means to get a budget yeah. under the Act 46. It's going to apply to all of us, and there shouldn't be a bias toward a school has a lawsuit or doesn't have a lawsuit. Exactly. In well, that case, sharing makes sense, and the cost of this is also. Um, for consideration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if that's what the legal counsel is about and not, well, we're still fighting the lawsuit, so you don't need to worry about it, um, I don't have a problem with sharing legal counsel. If they're looking at the law and how we have to get a budget in a time frame or we don't yeah. because the law says we don't, that should be shared. Bill, do you have a recommendation for exactly what the engagement with the attorney would look like for us? Uh, ask that a little differently because that engagement's a pretty open <laughs> word. What? Small group so speakers. I, I guess I look at it sort of from project management. What, like, what would the scope of this work for the attorney be? I believe the attorney should advise you on what your requirements are via V's your teacher master agreement what your requirements are by statute for producing a budget, what your authority is to present a budget to the voters of East Montpelier if you chose to do it locally, or if you, to advise you to what the authority is for a merged budget. Okay. Because so you need to make a decision. The third one, those feel pretty horizontal to me right across, literally across the boards. Um, and the third one may be more horizontal than I think other than the, the biases that other boards might bring to those. Yeah, I... So I, where I was going with that is that if we pretty strictly scope this, 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 um, put narrow parameters on the scope of work that we are asking the attorney to do for us as a group, then my discomfort with sharing legal counsel is probably outweighed by my desire to be efficient and cost effective. And I, I agree with your assessment, Ruben, that we set narrow parameters for legal counsel. We want them for these, you know, uh, I'm, I'm gonna generalize, but we want advice on how to proceed budget-wise in the current environment and potential impacts on the teacher master agreement where we find ourselves currently. And it's not about the merits of Act 46 or is merger good or bad. It's specifically, in my mind, it's specific. It's, it's specific mm -hmm. to our schools, and we need legal advice to keep our schools operational. So I agree be, with that statement. Yeah. Be, besides contracts and budgets, is where we had the next steps to you know what are. So that almost sounded like a motion to me. Well, I don't think legal counsel is going to tell us next steps. No. They will give you advice on where the law is. Yeah. We have to decide, you have to decide next what next okay. steps are. You need to be counseled 
and I want it in a way that you choose who it is, that you get to hear the yep. advice, you as a board get to make the decisions. Mm -hmm. You're not asking for anyone to do any interpretation. No. You do the interpretation. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, so who can we find? Who are who are the recommendations that you brought with you? So Chris and Colin. Chris Chris Leopold, um, mm -hmm. Pietro Lynn, Scott Cameron, and. Um, Paul Giuliani can do the fiscal, and I'm not sure he could do the contractual because he's a fiscal ex expert in municipal and school law, but I'm not sure. I'd have to ask him about his contractual teacher contract knowledge. And I, I mean, he can read a contract so, pretty well. But. So I have a question for the rest of the board. Does anybody have any discomfort with using Chris Leopold? No. 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 So my gut is that he's the logical choice. Well, he seems to be familiar with our system and people, uh, so makes sense. Yeah, I agree. Like you were saying, we were going to be efficient. He doesn't have to restudy and figure out where we are at. So I'll make a motion that we select Chris Leopold. So we do it in the action agenda, or do you want to do it now? Uh, well, well I'll be quiet. Yeah, no, if there's so, more discussion. So I was gonna. Is there any more discussion? Well, I only well, technically, discussion. we can make a motion and second and discuss it. But <laughs> no, I have no more discussion. It, My only because, statement is: is when we make the motion, is the motion going to include the scope? My my motion would include okay. a scope. Thank you. Okay. So then let's move into the action agenda and let's select the council. So um, I would make a motion that we select Chris Leopold to provide legal counsel on. So I'm just going to put this out and I'll accept friendly amendments. Okay. How's that? Because I'm doing this off the top of my head. Um, on legal advice on how to proceed on presenting a budget to our community and impacts on the teacher, on, is it called teacher? Teacher master agreement. Teacher, teacher master, master agreement. And I could include more with, with, um, with our purpose being we want, to, we want to make sure we take correct action to keep our schools operational. Can I offer a friendly amendment now? Yep. Hang on. Oh. With the purpose being taking correct action to keep. Taking action to ensure that our schools remain operational. Our, I would, uh, my, for, for our, our action, school. I was going to say specifically state EMES yeah. in the motion. Because that's all we have authority right. to do. Okay. So that it would be to keep our East Montpelier Elementary School operational. So it, it, it has a person and it has what, what I think is pretty narrow scope. So can we read that motion again? Um, yep, made a motion to select Chris Leopold as legal counsel for how to proceed on presenting a budget to our community and impacts on a teacher master agreement with the purpose of being taking correct action to ensure that East Montpelier Elementary School remain operational. There's in, there's a bit fewer words. Oh, someone can. <laughs> I just, I started words, typing yeah. it. Seek legal counsel for advice regarding next steps on budgets and teacher contracts. And I could put a comma with the purpose. It, I, it's just fewer words. I, I uh, my, I might, without getting too far into wordsmithing, maybe we put the objective first. Advice on how mm -hmm. to um, legally operate the school district, given where we are, including um, the teacher master agreement and uh, an operational budget for FY1920.
Is that okay? I'm, I'm, we're, we're all in agreement. We're yeah, just yeah, trying yeah. to get the language right, yeah. so okay. I'm completely flexible. Alicia, type Do down what Ruben said so she I can. I was not getting it all, though. So, Ruben, can you say that again? Seek, seek Chris Leopold. I tend to put my objective first, right? So the objective is to um, maintain the operation of the school. So I guess you could legally. just flip what Steven said, legally. put that first part first. I like first. that legally. Right. With the purpose we're, of... We're looking for legal advice on how to... Uh, on ensuring East Montpelier Elementary School remain operational. Mm -hmm. Regarding next steps on the budget and teacher contracts. Uh, and I would say we're looking for... Right, so that's the broad-based advice. How do we keep the school operational? including specific agreement about the teacher master, sorry, uh, including advice on the teacher master agreement and presenting a budget for FY19. Right, those are the two. And I think, I, I, for what plan. Ruben just said, I think that's good. Yeah. Okay, let me just... That way, if we find ourselves needing advice somewhere outside of one of those two bullets, it should likely be captured by the overarching objective. But it's still pretty specifically laid out. Do you want me to read it back to you? Yes. So the motion was sure. made to select Chris Leopold as legal counsel for advice on ensuring East Montpelier Elementary School remain operational, including advice on the teacher master agreement and presenting a budget for the FY 1920 school year. Yeah, that sounds great. Perfect. I would second that motion. Okay. Who is making it? You so that's what it Ruben was. made it. Okay, so okay. Ruben and Stephen. So do you have to withdraw your I motion? I withdraw my earlier motion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still learning. Yeah. 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 I was just letting them draft the motion together. <laughs> okay, and, and then uh, Stephen. Stephen, thank you. All those in favor of approving the motion as presented, please say aye. 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 You need to state your name on the phone and your vote, please. Lindy Johnson, Ruben, aye. aye. And Ruben Bennett, aye. Thank you. Perfect. Pass unanimously. Uh, one question that I would have is, is where do we say that we are willing to share? Is it just part of the discussion or? Uh, no, because it wasn't part of, of I, I think it's just, uh, I, my feeling is I would trust Ruben on yeah. the cheer level if yeah, a cheer yeah. outreached to Ruben yeah. and said we would be interested in sharing mm -hmm. counsel. I would yeah. be comfortable with Ruben as the chair. So should we Representing just, our if, should we just say, you know, yeah, that will be in the minutes that we all would like to share, if possible. If and you're saying sense. sharing with any? With any. Because a lot of your discussion was. Oh. Well, that's with not an action district. agenda item, but it could show right. in our discussion. No, that's just that, advisory. And Ruben, is that, the, is that the feeling you have from the discussion that we're willing to share legal counsel? My read of the consensus is that everybody is comfortable with sharing legal counsel within the scope of what we just talked about. And is with, everyone with on the, the board comfortable? Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as that's enough direction for you and Bill, I know that Bill has been asking for more specific, so I'm just trying to be more specific. You and empowered this. your chair, okay. which I feel more comfortable with. Okay, good. And, okay. and I feel like Ruben has a good sense, sense of, of how we feel about what our, what yeah. our feeling is on it. Ruben, you said as long as it's within the scope, and what if the other boards have a different scope? Then at that point, I would feel pretty strongly that I need to come back to the board for advice. Yeah. Well, no, okay. I wouldn't feel strongly. At that point, I would come back to the board for advice. <laughs> okay. 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 And, I, you know, generally speaking, I tend to ask for advice more than not because I don't want to misrepresent the position of the board ever.
So, right. do we have a sorry? No, you can ask a question. No. Do we have a sense of how long it would take Chris to kind of give us, or is he going to need more? The hardest part is going to be coordinating calendars. Okay. He, mm -hmm. Chris is. I've talked to all four. Yeah. I've talked to Paul, but I talked to the other three, to and they're like. Just let us know when you can get everything put together. They know the harder part is what we're trying to do here to get all these board meetings okay. put together and have you guys decide. I would like to have it. I'd like to have it sometime next week. So do we meet with him, like as a group? As a group. Okay, that was. So, and, so you're gonna let us know. Yeah, about as soon okay. as I can let you know, we'll let you know. Okay. But so I that can't. should be perfect <laughs> minutes. Yeah. Well, I I I think it would be in our best interest as well as everyone else that's trying to hire them for advice if at all possible if we could have that advice prior to town meeting because mm -hmm. yeah. it lets us I think so talk too. more informed prior to, to Saturday to prior to Saturday to that's I hear you. <laughs> well even if it's not by this Saturday yeah, if it's by yeah, town yeah, meeting make yeah. everything you know it's calendars yeah so I am on a town Wednesday afternoon through Friday mid-afternoon We'll figure it out. We're just going to have to, if figure we can out. get a quorum, we're just going to have yeah. to do it. Yeah. So. Yeah. I can call him. No, it's not a big deal. Okay. Uh, I, I know that we're, you know, ready to adjourn, but I'm, I'm wondering if we could, like, share correspondence and just get, uh, just make sure everybody received that email that I sent yesterday. And I feel pretty strongly about not getting a back and forth, even though it's, Inaccurate the information that was posted in Front Porch Forum. One option that Stephen. Well, what I, I would say, advice. this would be my recommendation to go forward. There, there wasn't a, it, the, when you called the meeting to order. There wasn't a discussion of if there needs to be a, um, an adjustment to the agenda. Yeah. I would be more comfortable with us agreeing to to add a discussion agenda item to the next. on whatever okay. that okay. is. Yeah. And then if the board agrees yeah. to add that, okay. then I feel like it's more formal. So, okay. so who can propose that? Or is so that we not just right put now? it through next steps. It's just we didn't have a, a, oh, a, a, a change day. Yeah. Information on Front Porch Forum, yeah. So you're saying not for today? I, I guess I No, I'm that. saying that we would, we would amend our Keep current agenda for today. Oh, for today. Budget. Oh, okay. Um, oh, you want it in a future? A no, no, I just I, don't I don't didn't know what you were saying. Really. I want to I talk know, about it today. Really okay. 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 So what? we would have to amend our agenda okay. for today. Yeah. To add a discussion item about front porch forum communication. Is that what it is? Yes. So do do I need a motion for that or can you just since I didn't call it at the beginning cuz I didn't Meeting hasn't been adjourned, so yeah. I don't know why you can't. There's no okay. reason you can't go back. Okay. So I've never had to. I've never overseen a meeting where agenda items were voted on. Have you, Ruben? No. Mm -hmm. No. It's yeah. more so of a courtesy. Two point, yeah. Okay, 2.2. 2. So it. I, I just want to quickly point out that we have. A presentation that we're preparing for town forum, and um, I find it likely that uh, much of the information that people might be seeking will be in that presentation. I agree, okay. especially if it involves a new whatever people want to call it district budget versus an east montpelier budget discussion so the presentation that you're working uh, on I, right now is basically just our budget right ruben uh, sorry i didn't hear you the presentation that you're working on right now, the last time we spoke, it was it was mainly just showing, you know, where the, the pie that we stay basically in instructional and, you know, just how we budget it. So are, are you saying That's that correct. you pre... Okay. But it's not a budget of what East Montpelier voters are used to. No, correct. But there's going to be questions about actual... What I... 
my question was not as much about that, but as much as the information posted in Front Porch Forum yesterday. Then we may want to decide um, whether we want to include a summary of where we are right now in that same presentation. That, so that's what I was saying. We, we should include something on Act 46, it, just where are we at? Especially by then, we have some advice from uh, the legal counsel. We should have uh, a little slide. I'm happy to help put that together, but just of where we are, if there's any questions. My recommendation is so I get, what what I was saying was that I, I think this town forum and the presentation therein is the appropriate um, vehicle for delivering that information. Yeah. Ruben, are you sense. sharing? Rather than engaging in a point by point back and forth, I think as a board, we would be um, wise to summarize where we are, how we've gotten here, and, um, and be very factual about um, the process that we're following at this point. To the degree that we can. Okay. And, and Ruben, what I was going to suggest, and this is just my feeling, we we do a very short, limited in scope presentation on where we're at right now in Act 46, because my impression is that there's going to be more questions, mm -hmm. and and keep our presentation fairly concise, fairly short, completely factual, and then have accumulated as much information. So what's going on in some of the subcommittees, what's going on with the transition board, all these different things. Let's not present it, but let's have that information available so if people ask specific questions, we can respond as best we can. I think if we try to anticipate what all the questions will be, it'll be a three-day presentation. Yeah. <laughs> I will. That's fair. <laughs> Ruben, are you, in the past, I think you've shared something on Front Porch Forum before the link or something. Are you doing that this year or just at town meeting? Um, <clears throat> I hope to, and like these things often do. So I have not gotten... Bill, did I... Was Lori going to send just those basic slides over? No, that's not the plan we had had. You were going to, you said you could develop it if you needed information. You I was just going to take it out of last year. Yeah, and then you were going to ask me for to help fill in questions, which I was willing to do because I was trying to help keep Lori from doing okay. a lot got of extra. It. So what, so then, um, got it. Okay. But I'm still, you know, I'm around. I'm willing to give you all that support, Ruben, of, yep. of getting the information. So so if you, you even if you took the power specific pieces of information that I need. Yeah, if you went through there and just even took the PowerPoint and highlighted, give me this year's figures for this, this, and this. Exactly. Uh, I That's can find exactly them for you. Right. I'm just trying not to task things to Lori right now. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, so what I'm what I'm the feeling that I'm getting is that you guys are okay not getting back and forth in front of forum. I shared a letter with you guys, the correspondence with Susan Clark, and and if anybody has questions, they will call any of us on that specific post. I, I feel like our <clears throat> intent has been clear for years that as individual board members, yeah. we are not going to engage in in um, social media discussions. As an individual board member, we, we can't do that. Yeah. And that's how I felt. But might I just not be to bad sure to, to, to put I a post. The minutes. <laughs> no, go ahead. I, was, well, I agree with that sentiment. I guess I've already been approached by two people about that. I don't want to get into a back and forth. There's no, nothing about it that I, I try to, I want to engage in. But my point of view on this whole, that whole uh, post was, you know, from my perspective as a board member and as a public person is when somebody approaches us with a suggestion or a recommendation that we at least consider it. And 
and I would hope that the community agrees on that. And we did not make that recommendation to go forward. We made the recommendation to potentially, hey, review, review options. That's all I think we. Have yeah, we said. were going to put we it for them, for like the board to decide. But, so, I guess my point is, if we do start fielding twenty-five calls, I would like to post something, a, a little rebuttal saying it wasn't. We're not recommending to go away from. Well, I talked to Floor on the way in, and yeah. what, what what I would say would be okay. the, minutes, the best way is refer them. So minutes. the minutes that, that to the sense. meeting um, where this to topic was discussed are located at these places. As a board member, you could say, if you're unable to go, I'm happy to print out a copy of them and give you those minutes, and then you can see what was discussed in the context of what it was discussed in. Okay. Yeah. Do we have some? Or, or to links. Or yeah, to we, links. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Because at this point, it's not even a school board. Yeah. It doesn't the, even the, come the to the school board. The thing that was really right. that is really hard to but why I was saying that. That way, you're saying here's the information that I have. Here's where it is. Yeah. yeah and, and the other thing I'd say, so, I'm sorry, I'm talking. Yeah, okay. Um. It, so, I, I feel like I've had experience with lots of scenarios. To me, it's different if an individual community member comes up to me and asks me something. Um, I'm still going to have to be, you know, if it's something that's for an administrator to decide, I'm going to say you need to <clears throat> see the administrator or, you know, what the process is. But a one-on-one -on -one is different than a, a, a social media post. Um, so, yeah. I mean... I, I tr in my mind, there's a big difference between my next door neighbor coming over and, and asking me, you know, w what went on as compared to doing a social media post. You know, it would be, in my mind, a social media post is if I wrote an article to the Times Argus, you know, to me that's different. And I'm, t then I'm representing a large group to a large group as compared to a one-on-one -on -one with a person. But in this case, I uh, refer them to the minutes. Lindy? The focus of that had to do with something in the Articles of Agreement, which we haven't voted on or been a part of yet. So nothing's been passed. And there was also what, a that, meeting of the Articles of Agreement Committee, which we, as a board, have no position on. Right. Yeah. Well, and, and the information was inaccurate even, you know, so, so yes, we had put in a recommendation, but she didn't even understand but, what town representation. But as a board, we don't even know that. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, it, so I, I think again, if they're, ref correct. If they're referred, if they're referred to the minutes of a meeting that are, about, which is that we have yeah. they're referred to the, the root source of a, a, a minutes of a meeting, yeah. I think that's the best we can do. Okay. Agreed. So, anything else? Otherwise, 4.0 and we can adjourn. I have nothing That's else. No. Okay, all those in favor of adjourning the meeting at 12.50, please say aye. 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 Okay, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you all. Thank all right. you.